Welcome back, 7-Eleven now. Next Sunday, Catholics around the world will celebrate the beatification of Pope John Paul II, the Pope. There's also a new exhibit at the same time at the Knights of Columbus Museum here in New Haven to honor him. It's called Blessed, a tribute to John Paul II. Here to tell us more about it and the events of the Knights is Peter Sonsky. Peter, good morning. Happy good Easter. Morning. Thanks Happy for Easter being to with you. us. Thank Let's you. start with beatification. Explain quickly what that means. Well, beatification is the, the penultimate step or the, the step once removed from actual sainthood. And John Paul II has been wending his way towards sainthood since he died six Quite years quickly, ago. Quite quickly, actually. Um, but there was a great call, a great mm acclaim for his being a saint, even at his funeral. Yeah, it started early. Talk about the timeliness of that with the exhibit. Works out nicely. What are we going to see at the exhibit? Well, the exhibit is um, a tribute, as you said, to his entire life. So it will be a great opportunity for people to come and recall what he offered to the world in his uh, 20 plus years as Pope. And he started so small in Poland. I mean, he, he, did. Such a he did. He was the first pope that had come from Poland. Um, and uh, he was a, a bit of a surprise when he was yeah. elected, not, not foreseen as being elected as pope, but he had a great contribution during his, his long reign. In, in fact, the second longest reigning pope. 23 years, I think? Something uh, like that. Talk about what we'll see. Will there be personal mementos? Might there be something be interesting that we wouldn't be surprised by. Indeed, indeed. We have some, some beautiful artwork, of course, of the Holy Father, but we also have a number of uh, personal mementos, as you say. The Presidential Medal of Freedom that he received from President Bush is on display. We have uh, personal effects and We're seeing a picture right articles. now for our viewers. That picture is right there in the museum, a snapshot of the exhibit. What else? And we've got, you know, uh, articles of, of clothing that he wore, some his cassock. We have a crozier, which is his uh, papal staff. Um, and there's a number of gifts that he received while he, tra he traveled throughout the world. You know, 129 countries he saw? Well, he spoke so many languages, I think. About a dozen languages. Yeah. He was really a pope for the world. People talked about how he, he, he was a pope not just for Catholics, but for the he world. He was. He was not just a religious leader. He was not just uh, a statesman. He was, he was uh, an ambassador for people in general. Talk about some of the special paintings that are also in this exhibit. Well, there is a, uh, a painter by the name of Francisco Guanalo, who was an Italian and who had great affection for John Paul. And he painted uh, a number of paintings that characterized the latter years of John Paul's life We're and the, one on the, the, screen the right suffering, now. the tribulation that he had while his health was declining and his age was advancing. And so those are on exhibit. They were on exhibit previously at the Vatican, and now they're on exhibit here in New Haven. Um, there's some other uh, items that the Knights of Columbus have either commissioned or acquired over time of John Paul as well. We have some, uh, some beautiful video of John Paul, too. So it's a great opportunity for people uh, to recall his life and his legacy. Now, do, at the exhibit, um, you know, for sainthood, there's certain qualifications. Is that featured at all? Um, any of the, the, the miracle or anything like that? No, the, the exhibit doesn't really talk too much about his cause or his process for sainthood. Uh, of course, that'll be well known. Uh, a, a week from today, he'll yeah. be beatified. And there is a French nun who was healed of uh, a serious illness, Parkinson's disease, which he himself suffered from uh, shortly after his death. That miracle was recognized and has led now to his beatification. What types of people uh, do you think this exhibit is good for youngsters as well? Indeed, I think it appeals to people of all ages, of all faiths, of all walks of life, because John Paul was a pope for the people. What, what's something in the exhibit that you particularly like? Uh, I'm intrigued by some of the gifts that he received as he traveled, and as I said, that they're on, ex, uh, on ex, uh, exposition there. There is a, uh, a mitre that he received. Uh, the mitre is that uh, long or pointy hat that they wear in uh, a liturgical setting, and he received one from one of his trips to Africa that is very unique. So I think people will be intrigued to see some of the unusual items that he was given as gifts, as mementos of his visits to these many nations he visited. And um, the exhibit, it's already open, right? And, it and it's at the Knights of Columbus. How long does it last? I think it we're going to put that on the screen for you. It runs until the end of June. 
Uh, it opened earlier this month. It's a great opportunity. The museum is open seven days a week. It's uh, not today, right though. here. Not today. Okay. Not open on Easter not, not Sunday. Not this Sunday. Okay. Today's the only day that uh, the exhibit will be closed while it's running. But uh, it's a great opportunity for people uh, to come and, uh, and see a little bit about uh, the history and life of John Paul. Okay, great. Thanks, Peter Sonsky. Happy Easter. Thanks for coming in for us and talking about the exhibit going on at the Knights of Columbus, focusing on Pope John Paul II. If you missed that a little, uh, the details we put on the screen, go onto our website, WTNH.com. Click on the Good Morning Connecticut section. We'll get you right to the Knights of Columbus site, which has all the details about the exhibit, as we said, runs through June.